Wild Bill on philosophy in general and the possibility of the existence of a real corporal god somewhere in the universe. I am the world's observer, Amida's eye, as my father used to say. My sole preference is to make my experience as broad as possible in order to formulate a more complete model of the world, along with its infinitely variable dynamics. Nothing exists outside of time, not in the material world at least, and so it behooves me, as the observer, to also move through time with this place as it ages. Thus, and only thus, do I apprehend the full sweep of the experience. As for what exists beyond this coil, well, I believe that the universe needs, nay, demands, an intelligent, subtle god, if only to have someone on hand capable of appreciating the trillions of delicious ironies are saphontic, social, and artistic permutations precipitate from the matrix of it all. Further, I find that the quest for knowledge is exoteric, not endoteric in nature. Those who bring extreme focus to bear in their search for truth are, in my opinion, repeating the mistake of the three blind men and the elephant. The first blind man, his questing hand encountering the elephant's trunk, said that the elephant was very much like a snake. The second blind man, by chance positioned at the tail, agreed. The third blind man, being the shortest of them all, reached out low and, after groping about for a speculative eternity, remarked, we are in agreement. Now here I'd like to make the crucial point that no one thought to ask the elephant what he thought of all this activity, proving that the observer drags his or her subjectivity along when attempting to define a system under observation. Therefore, rendered by insight effectively immune to the blandishments of an internal search for excellence, I have instead turned to looking ever outward, my intent to gather the eightfold corners of the philosophical universe under my one roof before I apply them to my particular needs. And thanks for taking time to consider this.